Hi there, welcome to the Xcode 4.2.1 Core Data Tutorial. Core Data is the framework we need when we need to store strings, text, numbers, latitudes, longitudes in our app. You can even uh, reboot the iPhone or the iPad and that data will still be there. Now for some people that would be very useful. There are a lot of methods, uh, new methods in this, but Apple include all the methods in the standard templates to get us going on it. In fact, you will build um, a nice little core data app that stores dates and times in table cells and it takes all of about 10 seconds to build it because it's a standard template actually. And then in part two of the tutorial, I'll be adding a text field so you can store bits of text in tables and cells. And that might be enough for some of you. If that's all you need, then you're not going to need to plow through a lot of um, methods that are, um, you might not understand. So off we go. Now what you want is a master detail application and make sure core data is ticked in those boxes. And then that puts in all the methods we'll need. Um, let's open up the master storyboard. And we can see all we've got there is a navigation controller and a table view controller. That's all it is, with the cell already in there that's going to display the data. Now we just run it. That's it, you've made it. There, yeah, seven seconds, you see. And it's what it does is store the date and time in cells. And that they'll be there after you reboot. So um, that's about it. Now let's have a quick look at App Delegate H. And you can see it's put in three new properties you probably haven't seen before. Let's have a look at App Delegate M. There's a few new methods in there that you might not have seen before. But the main one we use is Master View Controller M. Let's have a look at H. You can see there it's defined a couple of properties. Now let's go to Master View Controller M. Towards the bottom is the meat of what you'll need. And uh, towards the bottom there, you can see that pragma mark. Um, the ones below that are the this kind of new methods. Right, in tutorial two, we'll make some adjustments to that so that it doesn't store date time, but it stores strings of text, and then we'll add a text field. And uh, see if you can have a look at uh, those new methods. You're gonna need to familiarize yourselves, especially in mastercontroller.m with uh, these new methods and uh, properties. So see you in tutorial two, I hope. Bye.